many people often ask me and have asked me many times in the past when they heard that I sat for the computer based IELTS test they asked Neon Bhaiya or Neon Sir is there any website any reliable place where I can practice sitting for the computer based IELTS test at home without paying for any mock tests at any center and even at a center is it reliable so my answer to them was that actually I myself didn't sit for any mock tests that actually simulated or actually replicated the exam conditions of a computer based IELTS test I myself didn't sit for it and I myself didn't know if there was any such reliable website what I used to do was that I used to keep the PDF that's obviously I'm not suggesting you to download the PDFs you should buy the books the Cambridge books but what I did was that I kept the PDF on the left hand corner and then my answer script which was in a Microsoft Word document most probably in most situations on my computer I used to keep it like that and then practice but obviously that's not exactly replicating the exam conditions so that's what I practiced the way I, I did it but nowadays I usually practice my IELTS tests. yes I still do practice IELTS and I also teach IELTS so I do it on a website which actually very very accurately not 100% but very very much so replicates or simulates a computer based IELTS test experience let me show you how this website looks live in this video so this is the website engnovate.com ingnovate.com and here you see not only the listening reading writing and speaking tests that you can see from here not only those but you can also get some quote unquote or so called band 9 IELTS samples I wouldn't say they are band 9 but at least you can see some samples there and there are also tips some tools some videos even some flashcards and also they're very neat I found them to be very interesting if not actually useful but at least interesting you can also do some writing exercises here and some pronunciation facilities here but in this video I'm going to particularly talk about the IELTS computer based tests that you can access from here completely for free for example let's go to the reading tests and they do not just have any sorts of tests but they have the actual official Cambridge Cambridge tests the test questions you can select also question types if you want if you want to only do some matching information questions for example some true false or yes no not given questions you can also practice those individually you can also search some terms right you can just go for full tests filter out and then see from the latest which is Cambridge 19 we all know this most of you Cambridge 19 is the latest official source of test materials all other test materials aside from some that IDP and British Council provide very few they do not provide a lot of practice test materials but other than those on their website which are very very little which are not enough at all I always suggest my students to either buy the official Cambridge books 13 to 19 to the latest one if you want to buy more then start from 9 you don't really have to go from test 1 I mean book 1 but that is a very old version of Cambridge IELTS and IELTS evolves over time it has evolved a lot so my suggestion is to start from Cambridge 13 or if you want to go back further 9 or 11 onwards until the latest one which is 19 so you can see here 19 reading test 4 reading test 3 reading test 2 reading test 1 then 18 the four reading tests so if you didn't know there are four tests four reading tests four writing tests for listening for speaking tests per Cambridge test book version so you see that you have how many all the way to Cambridge IELTS 10 book 10 you don't even need to do practice on all of them so let me just show you what one looks like let's go to the latest Cambridge IELTS 19 book reading test 1 just see it's almost exactly like the computer-based IELTS test 
you can see that the passage is here this is the first passage passage one you can also see the timer here it automatically starts you do not you do not have to keep the time on your clock you do not have to set a stopwatch nothing it will automatically start and after one hour it will end and here on the right hand corner these are the questions see from question 1 to question number 13 it's in the first part passage 1 you can just scroll through individually if you want to scroll through the passage you can just move your mouse wheel down or scroll up and you can also individually scroll up or down the questions it's so so convenient why because on a paper based test what you have to do is that you have to flip back and flip forth back and forth as you read the questions turn back to the passage and then again read the questions because you have already forgotten the questions so it saves a massive amount of time if you didn't know why you should choose the computer based IELTS test I have a video where I discuss 14 14 advantages of the computer based IELTS test and only four disadvantages so yes the computer based IELTS test does have some disadvantages but many 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 more advantages you can also make this shorter although I don't think you want to make it so short you can also make it bigger the passage okay so I think this is also good because the questions they're still readable quite well like this but I usually keep it like this half and half because questions to me they are very important and this is also quite readable you can also drag and adjust as you see fit okay so you can also very 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 conveniently highlight you can also write some comments if you want see if you press this then it will be the opposite the anti highlight option it will remove the highlight so you can just remove if you want you can highlight like this you can double press press to highlight as well okay how can you make comments for example you want to make comments on the word tournaments just double click it or drag this word or some words and then press this you can write a comment for example you can write Djokovic because this is talking about something that Novak Djokovic did and you just press elsewhere if you press on it it will say Djokovic and it also has this symbol the message symbol the comment symbol to remind you that there is a comment there very convenient right you can also obviously move to parts 2 and parts 3 anytime you want and if you move, ba move back to part 1 the highlighting it is still there even the comment it's still there on some websites that I have seen which tries to simulate the computer based IELTS test they do not actually retain the highlight feature so this one it doesn't have that problem so let's go back and see another type of test let's see a reading test now okay what say you let's leave the page let's see a listening test how it looks like hmm same let's go to Cambridge IELTS 19 no not general let's go to academic we will do the academic tests let's do this okay see here is the audio and also the time is running hmm? and you can obviously go to other parts okay I didn't choose a full test let me choose a full test full test okay now let's go to 19 academic listening test 3 see there are four parts part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 and if the audio clip plays let's say it's playing right now but you you want to go to part 2 okay to just to see what the questions are like to maybe highlight some options highlight some keywords so will that audio close in part one no that's another very interesting thing right yes the part one audio will keep playing so you can just go to part two part three part four and highlight as you want okay for example let me highlight this part injuries okay so let's say i highlight air rain but my time is going on so it's very fair it's not like if you go to another part that it will stop that part's audio so i really really enjoyed this facility of this website the innovate website okay so i forgot to mention but 
in the computer based IELTS test you do not have to write A B C D here there will be a drop down option okay you it's just like an like an MCQ and you can also highlight things for example you already have this answer down so you do not have to write B or something right so it's very similar to the actual computer based IELTS test and also in MCQ you do not have to write A B or C if you're unfamiliar with the computer based IELTS test it's just like an MCQ here you just have to click on the option it's very simple very very intuitive so let me also show you the <coughs> writing and the reading section usually I do not practice speaking anywhere but with my partner with my wife but you can also think about practicing speaking from a website let's see how it looks like if you want you can give an answer here you can record yourself to start speaking if you're on your phone you can just simply press this and then speak something but if you're on your PC or your laptop make sure that you have microphones right so I will not be showing this to you right now but it's very very simple the problem is in there is not a, an actual person who will check your answers right so it will give you an AI sort of feedback like what chat GPT would give you it's an AI software right so it will not be completely 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 accurate but you will get some ideas okay so it's not bad also if you want to see how writing looks like it's more I would say it's more useful than the speaking because you can actually type here you do not have to write on your hand because if you're sitting for the computer based test why will you write on your copy you should write on your PC right so let me show you how it looks like let's go to here for example see here is the chart it's a line graph okay this is the question and here we can write our answer again like the reading we can make it smaller we can make it bigger okay I think for writing you should make it a little bit bigger but also the ch chart it becomes very small so I think half and half is fine enough or maybe like this whatever suits you okay very very comfortable you can just start writing like this writing like this it's so much more convenient than a paper based IELTS test because in writing especially you can draft you can write the outline and then you can fill up the outline that's what I did and that's what I suggest my students to do who want to sit for the computer based IELTS test now before wrapping this video off I'd just like to show you some other websites and I'm not going to show you some like nonsensical websites or some websites that are scammers let me actually show you the official websites this is the IELTS IDP website and they do have some some practice materials okay even for the computer based test let me show you this one is the listening let's go to reading it's easier to show start academic sample questions on computer start general training sample questions on computer let's click on this one see here so it's it's exactly or almost exactly like the actual computer based IELTS test right so you can also drag this drag this to the left drag this to the right unfortunately you cannot highlight you cannot highlight anything and highlighting is very important in the reading section also in the listening section but on this website ironically it's the official website but you cannot highlight right so that's a bugger that's actually a shame right so the listening also you cannot highlight this is the official website and again it's only one test that's the problem guys how many tests one test you get only one practice mock test on the official website is that enough obviously not you need to practice 10 times 20 times for each module at least three to four times right so one test is not enough for you it will this official website will not be enough let's go to another official website which is the British Council website the take IELTS dot British Council dot org here also it's similar to the IDP one we go here see there are some questions there are some sample questions here you can see so it's question by question not necessarily a full test right so the answers are also given hmm so you can also check your answers if you want to press this and see how it looks like <laughs> let's let's actually show you rather than telling you how it looks like see 
see here so how is it it's basically not a computer based IELTS in user interface right the UI is not really like a computer based IELTS test you cannot click the options here and then the options will be taken and uh, you actually have to think of it like only the questions are here there is no place to write the answers and they will not check your answers hmm? so it's not exactly a computer based IELTS simulation test it is not replicating the official exam conditions but yes you can use this for your practice but again how many how many mock tests does it have <laughs> only two see only two practice tests are here so neither neither the computer based IELTS test simulation on the British Council website or the IDP website is totally totally accurate and also they are not more importantly they are not sufficient only one or two practice tests so that's why I suggest to please try out innovate if you want to sit for the computer based IELTS test there is one small problem on this website which is about typos so I'm not sure why this problem exists probably the person who copy pasted the questions made a mistake in the typos or maybe the questions were scanned and in the scanning we know that scannings they are not 100% accurate so see here this is Cambridge IELTS 19 academic reading test for the last test publicly available on the official IELTS books when professor Matt what is this Egyptian <laughs> so obviously this is not a name and I was thinking what is this Ipton or something but that is actually Upton see here I have the PDF here when professor Matt Upton okay so sometimes due to these typos this was just a name right so this wasn't a big problem it's just a name a name can be anything I have seen even weirder names than this but if the typo happened in one of the key words of the answer hmm, or maybe that's the answer itself and if you write the answer from the reading test I mean the reading passage then it will be wrong because that was a typo so that rarely happened actually I practiced a lot from this website and I also saw my wife practicing actually it was her it was my wife who suggested me to make a video on this to show you guys how to actually practice for the computer based IELTS test on a free absolutely free website so yes this very 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 small problem is there just look out for it just keep the keep the PDF or the book in front of you or just keep it beside you when you sit for the test and if you feel like that there is a very strange spelling or something is missing just open up the book right so from my experience it has happened very 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 rarely maybe once in four tests like if I sit for four tests in one of them I face a problem like this and another thing I forgot to mention before let's say I give this one let's say oh let's just give a random answer and if I click submit it will show me the answers obviously it will show me the band score I got zero because I didn't attempt anything except one so it also shows the answers and not only that it also gives the explanation see here if you click on it see number one so this is the this is where the answer to the first question is let's see the explanation the passage says that conservationists believe that about two-thirds of butterfly species in Britain have become fewer in number over the last 40 years that's why it's false it's not like there were fewer butterflies in Britain than at present actually there are fewer now there were more in the past so it's the opposite it's false it's given in the very first sentence here also this is the answer to question number six right so you have the explanations after finishing the completing the test please see the explanations even if you got that answer correct sometimes probably you might have guessed I myself sometimes guess guessing is a good technique it's a useful technique but still we should try to learn even if we have got the answer look at the explanations at least at least look at them for the mistakes that you made right so I'm going to wrap up the video now I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful because 
damn sure I didn't know about this website about even one month ago and within one month it has helped me a lot yeah so if you like the video please hit subscribe comment like share and I hope you stay with me on my journey to becoming more fluent in English